Hello students, how are you all? I hope all of you are doing very good. Welcome all of you at Riser Talent and today we are going to discuss about the NCRT questions that are related to your chapter number first of the physics that is about light reflection and refraction. So let's deal with the NCRT questions because these are very important from your CBSC point of view. So the first question in this sequence is which one of the following material cannot be used to make a lens? So among these materials, you have to identify that the lens can be made of, it means lens cannot be made from this material. You have to identify the material here. So the examples are and the options are water, glass, plastic and clay. So the clay is not any transparent material. So you cannot make the lens from the clay material. So which option will be correct here? Option number D. So this is a very simple question we have. Let's move to the next question. Image formed by concave mirror is observed to be virtual erect and larger than the object. So what you are given with? You are given with the concave mirror. And what are the specifications of the image formed by this mirror? The concave mirror is forming virtual erect and enlarged image these are the features of the image we are getting here so what will be the position of the object so it means if you are getting the virtual and erect image you have to place the object between principal focus principal focus and the pole of the mirror to get the enlarged view of the image so which option is correct here between principal focus and center of curvature, at the center of curvature, beyond the center of curvature or between the pole of the mirror and the principal focus. So you have to kept your object between pole of the mirror and principal focus. So I can say that here the option number D will be correct. So I can say option D will be correct in this question. So what you have to do, you have to learn the four tables that are related to the mirrors and the lenses to solving such type of the questions because a question will be definitely going to ask in your exam related to the image formation. Now, let's see what the next question is saying. Where should be the object placed in front of a convex lens to get a real image of the same size of the object? So, we have provided with the convex lens now. What we are given with? We are given with convex lens. And we have to obtain the image that is of the same size of the object. So, object and image are having the same size. So if I want the same size of the object, you know that the convex lens must be placed at a point 2f. If you place the object at 2f, you will get the image exactly at 2f. You will get the image exactly at 2f. So what is 2f? 2f will be the twice of the focal length. So let's see what are the options here. At the principal focus of the lens, at twice the focal length. This is our 2f. So when you place the object at 2f, you will get the same size of the object in the image. So we can say that option number B will be our correct option. Option B is correct. Now let's move to the next question we have. A spherical mirror and a thin spherical lens have a focal length of minus 15 centimeters. You are provided with one spherical mirror and one thing, is, one thing is about spherical lens. One is spherical mirror and one is spherical lens. And what you are provided with, you are given a focal length that is minus 15 centimeter. So you can see that focal length is negative in both the cases. If the focal length is negative, then the mirror will be the concave mirror 
and the lens will be the concave lens. So I can say that both of these will be concave. So let's check the options. Both concave, both convex, the mirror is concave and the lens is convex. The mirror is convex but the lens is concave. So both of these are the concave because we are getting the focal length that is negative. So I must say that option number A will be correct here. Now, let's move to the next question in this series. No matter how far you stand from a mirror. You are standing far from the mirror and your image is erect. Image formed is erect. Now, the mirror is likely to be plane, concave, convex or either plane and convex. So, you are getting the erect image. So, the mirror may be the plane one and the convex ones. Uh, both of the mirror can be uh, applied here. So, you can see that it may be either plane mirror and the convex mirror because you are getting the erect image in this case. So, I must say that option number D will be correct. Which option is correct here? Option number D will be our correct answer. Now, these are the very simple questions which are belonging to your image formation. Now, let's see what the next question is saying. Now, the sixth question is, which of the following lenses would you prefer to use while reading the small letters found in dictionary? This is a very interesting question we have. If you want to read the small letters of the dictionary, which lenses are you using? So, if you want to see the uh, rear view, it means the wider view of anything, you must use the convex lens because convex lens will give you the wider view. We will use the convex lens. So, this thing is fixed that we have to use the convex lens for reading the small, small letters in the dictionary. Now, the options are convex lens of focal length 50 centimeter, concave lens, this cannot be used, concave lens of focal length 5 centimeter, concave lens of focal length 5 centimeter. So, the concave lenses are cancelled here. So, we have to choose among this option and this option. So, if you want to read the small letters, you know that the power will be inversely proportional to the focal length. So, you have to choose the small focal length to read the wider view in the dictionary. So, you will choose the convex lens of focal length 5 cm. You will not going to use the 50 cm. You have to choose the convex lens of focal length 5 cm for reading the small letters in the dictionary. So, what you will do? You will choose the convex lens. So, our option number C is correct. Now, let's move to the next question. We wish to obtain an erect image of an object. What we want? We want the erect image. And we are provided with the concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter. You are provided with the concave mirror. So, the concave mirror is given and what is given? The mirror is having a focal length of 15 centimeter. Now, what should be the range of distance of the object from the mirror and what is the nature of the image? Is the image larger or smaller than the object? draw a ray diagram to show the image formation in this case. So, in case of concave mirror, we have the negative focal length. Now, if you want to find out the range of the distance of the object from the mirror, the distance must be lie between 0 and 15. It means, if I am going to draw the ray diagram for this, what you will get? The concave mirror is polished outwards. So, in case of concave mirror, if this is my focus, this is 2F, this is the pole of the mirror and this is our F and this is again our 
2f. Now, if I am placing the object here, suppose if I am placing the object here, this is my object AB. Now, in case of the concave mirror, we will get the image on the same side of the mirror. You will get the image at the same side of the mirror. Now, what will happen? The ray of light after reflection from the lens will reverse back. And similarly, this ray is going to be passed from here. And again, if a ray of light is incident from here, again after reflection, it will going to come here. It means it will be reflected in the same side of the mirror. So, you will get the image somewhere like here. This is our A dash B dash. So, you will get the image of the object here in case of the concave mirror. So, you can see that you are obtaining the erect image in the same side of the mirror and you can see that this image will be your virtual and this is the ray diagram which is representing this and you can see that this image is smaller as compared to that object. So, you are getting the image which is smaller here. We are getting the image which will be smaller than the object. So, this is what we are getting by drawing the ray diagram for the concave mirror. So, just copy this part from here. Now, the next question is, we wish to obtain an erect image of an object using a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter. So, what you are given with? You are provided with concave mirror. So, concave mirror is given and it is having a focal length that is 15 centimeter. So, minus 15 in case of the concave one. You have to identify what should be the range of distance of object from the mirror. What is the nature of the image? Is the image smaller or bigger than the object? Or you have to draw the ray diagram for the image formation. So, firstly, what we are assuming? We are assuming the concave mirror. This is our concave mirror which is polished from outside. Now, this will be C, this will be focus, this will be pole of mirror. Now, you have to place your object between the focus and pole. This is the object I have. So, object is name as AB. So, what will happen in this case? After reflection, if the ray is incident on the mirror, you can see that This is the image we are getting and it will be reflected back. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of reflection and so this is the ray diagram actually we are getting in case of the concave mirror. So, you, have, you can see that if you are placing the object between the focus and pole. So, you have to keep your object between 0 and 15 centimeter because the focal length will be the distance between the pole and focus. So, this is our 0 and this is our approximately 15 centimeter. This is the focal length we have. So, what you have to do? We have to keep our object between P and F. So, this is the first answer we are giving. Okay. Now, what is the nature of the image? If you are using this mirror and keeping the object between the pole and focus, you are getting the virtual and the erect image. So, you are getting virtual and erect image. Now, is this image smaller or larger than object? So, you can see that we are getting the larger image. This image is larger one. So, we are getting the larger image. So, this is the whole thing about the concave mirror we can draw from here. So, just copy this question from here. These are the very important questions we have. Now, let us move to the next question we have.
नेम द टाइप ऑफ द मिरर यूज इन द फॉलोइंग सिचुएशन तो दिस इज अ थ्योरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यू हैव इन द हेडलाइट ऑफ कार इन द हेडलाइट ऑफ द कार वॉट वी विल यूज we are going to use concave mirrors why we are using concave mirror because on that mirror at the focus when the light rays incident it will give you the enlarged view and you can see that entire light rays will going to be uh, accumulated at the focus side rear view uh, rear view of a vehicle we know that for any vehicle like car or any other vehicle you can say you are having the side glasses and that side glasses must be made up of the convex mirror why convex mirror because convex mirror are actually rear view mirror and they will give you the diminished image so they are these are having a wider view this will give you the wider view of an object so the vehicle is far away from you you will get the image uh, at a smaller distance from the object so side view mirrors are our convex mirrors solar furnace solar furnace is actually using the concave mirror so whenever the sunlight or the solar rays fall on that mirror it will simply cook the food that is placed inside that cooker so these actually are using the concave and convex mirrors and these theory questions we have dealt in our uh, previous video lectures also so this is a very simple question you have now the next question is question number 9 let's see what the next question is saying now the next question is one half of a convex lens is covered with a black paper will this lens produce a complete image of the object you have to verify your answer experimentally and you have to observe your observation so let's see what will happen in this case i am assuming a convex lens this is our convex lens this is our principal axis this is our first principal this is our first principal focus and these will be our second principal focus now what you are doing you are covering the half part of the lens with the black paper so if i am covering this part with the black paper it means the upper part of the lens is covered it means upper part is covered if the upper part of the lens is covered and if you are suppose placing an object here the object is placed here this is our object now if the object is placed here you can see that the reflection or the refraction from the lens will going to take place from the lower part it means the ray of light after passing through after refraction from this lens will going to meet at the here and the rays of light after striking will going to meet here so this is what we are getting we are getting here the image of the object here you will get the image of the object so rays after refraction from the lens will going to parallel to the principal axis and you will get the image of the object here so if the half part is covered nothing will be changes nothing change not, no changes will take place in the image formation the image will going to be formed from the lower part now this is our case number 1 now lord let's see what the case number 2 is saying in case number 2 i am similarly assuming the principal axis this is our lens
this is f this is 2f and this is f dash and this is 2f dash and this will be the pole of the mirror now you are covering the lower half part with the black paper so we are covering this lower most part with the black paper half part covered with black paper and which part is this this is the lower most part now if the object is placed here this is a b then rays after refraction from this convex lens will going to be strike at this point and after refraction from this lens they are going to be strike at that point so we, so you will get the image here so you can see that whether a lens is half covered or not covered it will not going to change the image formation the image will def definitely going to form and this will be formed here so this is how the image form image formation in case of the convex lens take place if it is half covered so just copy this part from here now our next question is now this is the numerical problem you have and for solving this numerical problem what you have to do you have to just take the pen and paper and do the solution as i am describing so firstly an object is 5 cm in length so firstly i am writing the given conditions here what is the height of the object height of the object is h and it is given as a 5 cm height of the object is h and it is 5 cm now is held 25 cm away from the converging lens so the lens is converging so can you tell me what are the type of lens which are converging i can tell you the converging lens are our convex lenses these are our convex lenses and the distance from the object is 25 cm so you can see that u will be negative in this case you have to keep the value of u minus 25 cm because the lens is convex lens and this is in accordance with the sign conventions we have dealt in the chapter now the focal length is 10 cm what is the focal length here focal length small f will be 10 cm now draw the ray diagram and find the position size and nature of the image this is again a very important question so let's find the position size and nature of the image so what you have to do you have to apply the lens formula what we will apply we will just apply the lens formula now what is lens formula 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u this is the lens formula we have on substituting these values what i will get here i have to find out the value of v so we can write 1 upon v will be equal to 1 upon f plus 1 upon u this thing will be shifted in the left hand side now f is what f is 10 plus u is minus 1 upon 25 now if i'm going to take the lcm of this part 25 and 10 will give you a lcm of 50 and it came out to be 5 and it came out to be minus 2 and it is equal to 3 upon 50 you can see here now 1 upon v equal to 3 upon 50 and v is equal to 50 upon 3 it is 50 upon 3 so the v will be 50 by 3 and on solving this what i will getting here 5 3 1 are 3 3 6 are 18 and again 16.66 cm 
So you can see that the image will going to be formed at a distance of 16.66 centimeter and you can see that V is positive in this case. So you will get the image on the other side of the lens. So this is the value of V. Now you can see that we have to find out the magnification produced here. Now the magnification will be given by the formula M will be equal to minus V by U. This is the formula for magnification you have. This is the formula for magnification we have and this is the formula in the case of mirror we have but for the lens we have the simple formula that is equal to v by u okay now v is what 16.66 and u is what u is our minus 25 so on solving this what i will get i will shift two zeros here and it came out to be minus 0 0.66 this is the magnification i am getting here now this is the magnification we have seen. Now magnification will also be given by the formula h dash upon h. This h is the height of the image and this h is the height of the object. So if I am going to determine the height of the image, it came out to be h dash, h dash equal to mh. This is the formula. Now what is the value of m? m is minus 0.66. And what is the height of the object? Height of the object is 5 centimeter. So you can see that the height came out to be 5, 6 are 30, 5, 6 are 30 and 3, 33 and 3.3. So the height came out to be 3.3 meter. So you can see what three things we have determined from this question. Firstly, we have determined the position of the image. It is 16.66 centimeter. Secondly, we have seen the magnification that is 0.66 and what you have seen here you have seen that the height of the image will be 3.33 now you have to draw the ray diagram for this entire case now i am drawing the ray diagram for this case so just copy this part from here so we can draw the ray diagram for the same thing so the ray diagram will be Firstly, we are drawing the principal axis. This will be our convex lens. Now, this will be our focus. This is our 2F and this is our F dash and this is our 2F dash. Now, what is the height of the object? Suppose I am placing the object here. So, this will be the height of the object. What is the height of the object? Height of the object AB is 5 centimeter. This is 5 centimeter. Now, what will be the position of the object? The object is 25 centimeter away from the converging lens. So, this object is placed at a distance of 25 centimeter and this is the focal length because it, it is calculated from the pole of the mirror and it is 15 centimeter. So, Focal length is 15 centimeter and the distance of the object from the lens is 25 centimeter. Now you can see that the image formed here will be on the other side of the mirror because V came out to be positive. So the rays after refraction so we will get the inverted image of the object here and it will be a dash b dash and what height you have calculated for it its height is 3.3 meter it means the image formed is smaller than the object so firstly you can see that we are getting the inverted image okay we are getting the inverted image the size of the image is smaller than object size of image is smaller than object and thirdly what you are getting 
you can see that we are obtaining the image on the other side of the lens. So image is obtained on the other side of lens. So these are the things you have calculated and again I'm repeating these are the very important questions because on the lens formula or the mirror formula a definitely question can be arised. So this is all about the NCIT questions we have discussed here. We are dealt with only half questions here. Now we will continue with our next lecture in our next session. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day.